All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, you guys. Um, I see y'all didn't get the notifications. Y'all haven't been getting them lately. Uh, and so um, just make sure y'all ring the notification bell as y'all come on in so that y'all will get the notifications. Uh this is sad what happened to AI, man. Um, I'm hurt. A lot of people are hurt about what happened to AI. Uh, and I think it's very disrespectful what happened to Alan Iverson. And I agree with a lot of people that are upset in and around the community about what happened with AI. Now, if you guys don't know what happened with AI, yesterday AI was presented uh, with a statue outside of uh, the Philadelphia Arena. And the statue was a damn trophy. Uh, Allen Iverson, uh, hand is bigger than the statue. Uh, they gave, they disrespected this man. Um, the AI gave everything. Uh, he never cheated the organization. He fought and played through injuries. He did everything he was supposed to do as far as being a professional basketball player. He was everything anti of what these guys do in this era, man. It break my heart. That really broke my heart to see what they did to AI, bro. That broke my heart, man. They gave this man a midget, a midget, a midget trophy for a statue, bro. That that was absolutely condescending. What they did to AI, man. AI took that team and dragged that team to the NBA Finals. You got a guy. And Joel Embiid, that was about to win multiple MVPs with this franchise, who had a stacked roster, stacked team, and couldn't even get to the conference finals. And they praise him like no other. But you had to do like Allen Iverson, man, who was small in stature but big in heart, bro. And you disrespect that man like that, bro. You disrespect that man like that, you get that man a goddamn on midget. Bro, that was disgusting, man. And everybody that's online, that's feeling a way about this, bro. I don't blame you, man. That is out. That is a disgrace, man. And I know AI really wanted to say something. That's a disgrace, bro. You don't treat your legends like that, man. You don't treat the guys who come out here and who lay it on the line, who don't cheat the system, who show up and go to work. I don't care what it is, man. You don't treat them like that, bro. The 76ers organization is a disgrace. They're disgusting for what they did to AI. You gonna get that man a midget? That's a that's a disgrace, bro. And I don't care what any of y'all say about Matt Barnes, because I don't agree with a lot of stuff he said, but he was right about this shit, man. That dude should have a statue bigger than the damn arena. And you gave him a damn trophy? That's a disgrace, bro. That's a disgrace, man. You got people who disrespect. People don't respect the time and the work that you put in and the love you put into the game, man. Man, that man gave everything, bro. Everything to the organization, to the franchise, bro. I don't care what you think. He poked his chest out, bro. He did more what a lot of these other guys did, bro. That, that is sad, man. That really enraged me, bro. Because what else can you ask for, bro, for a dude to give everything he got? You never questioned whether AI gave every ounce in his body, bro. You never question that. Y'all disrespect that man like that, bro. That's sad, bro. The NBA, the, all the people have are outraged about this. The F Philadelphia 76ers, man, they gotta fix this, bro. That that is a disgrace. What they did to this man. They disrespected that man, dishonored that man like that, bro. 
We ain't never questioned nothing about AI and what he brought to the table when he was on the court. We never questioned that, bro. And then all these guys, these fake friends are here, Stephen A. Snitch, and all of you dudes who got big voices who ain't said nothing publicly. No, no, y'all should have been on the camera immediately for this. You too worried about talking down about O.J. Simpson as he don't pass the way. They don't disrespect AI to the umpteenth power of the Philadelphia 76 They need to be condemned on every single end of the NBA. That's sad, bro. For that statue like that, bro, you gave the man a midget? Come on, man, bro. Hey, man, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. The Philadelphia 76ers organization should be a, a damn shame to themselves for what they did to AI, bro. We talking about a dude, bro, that gave everything, bro. We ain't, we ain't, talking, we ain't talking about no load management, y'all. We ain't talking about no, oh, I can't play tonight. My ankle hurt. My leg sore. My shoulder hurt. My arm sore. All this stuff. We talking about a dude that really went out there and gave all to the franchise. Every single thing he had to the organization. He gave it all. He didn't cry and complain about his teammates because they wasn't good enough. He didn't go say, hey, man, I want to leave, demand a trade. The only reason why he got moved is because the Philadelphia 76ers wanted to trade AI because they were tired of the situation with AI outside of basketball that he had going on with his family. He never, ever demanded a trade. He never wanted to leave Philly. That's sad, bro. That man gave y'all all those years. I'm talking about everything that you could have in a dude, man. And y'all disrespect that man like that, man. Gave that man a kid-sized uh, trophy, a midget trophy, bro. Hey, I should have spit on that trophy, bro. I, I, I ain't lying to you, bro. They should have. This is how they disrespect us, though. This is how they disrespect us. I'm telling y'all this, bro. I'm telling y'all this. No, nobody else get disrespected more than this, bro. That's that's. Bro, I'm sorry, man. I'm so upset, bro. When I seen that, that AI take off that that thing, and they show that that uh, they reveal that that uh, statue, bro. That ain't even a statue, bro. That's a disgrace, man. Bro, uh, one of y'all got a kid that's like four four. He taller than that damn statue, bro. That that that. But I can't believe that they did that to that man, bro. I can't believe they did that to that dude, bro. You're talking about public humiliation, man. And we're talking about the owners of that team. They got all this money. And that's the best y'all could do for a dude who never cheated the game. He never cheated the system. He never cheated the game. AI literally was playing 42, 43, 44 minutes, 45, a game. Forget all this, oh, no, nah, we ain't playing. We can only play 34, 35. AI was clocking 42, 43, 44 minutes a game. Putting everything out there. I'm talking about putting it all out on the court, bro. Play through injuries, all this stuff. Man, disrespect that man like that. Did that like that. Did that man like that, bro. I ain't got no respect for the Philadelphia 76, bro. I would never respect. And Charles Barkley, all y'all dudes need to be, y'all need, y'all Negroes need to be screaming to the high heavens on the disrespect they did to this man, bro. We talking about a dude that never complained about his teammates. Everybody know AI didn't have the teammates like they all know he didn't have them top-notch teammates. And he took them dudes to the NBA Finals. They did that, bro. That's a disgrace. That's a disgrace what they did to that man, bro. And I had no respect, man. And if I was AI, man, I'd feel away about that shit, man. I swear I would. I'd feel away, bro. I swear I would, bro. You would drag a team like that to the NBA Finals and they do you like that, bro. A dude of his stature, his size, come from where he came from. Show all the love that he gave to the organization. I'm talking about this man gave everything to Philadelphia. They know that, bro. They know he did. They know he did. And for that to happen like that, bro, for y'all to reveal that and do that man like that, man. Leroy McConnell said, man, that statue is smaller than the NFL Hall, Hall of Fame bus head. Bro, that was sad, bro. I, bro, I literally wanted to break down in tears, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, this don't make this. This is disgusting, man. This this is a this is a statue, and this how y'all treat our legends that don't cheat the game, y'all. That never complained about his teammates, y'all. 
never asked to be traded, y'all. He never asked to try to go trade and stack the deck. None of this stuff, bro. He really laid it all out there on the line. He always went to work, hurt everything. To give it to y'all in the game every single night on the court. He gave you never question his effort, ever. So if you do it like that, this is how they treat you. And y'all see this, bro. Y'all see this, man. AI could have picked that thing up and walked away with it, man, with it's right there in his hands, bro. And I, I, hey, listen, man, I ain't got no respect for the Philadelphia 76ers, man. I ain't got no respect for that organization, bro. Bro, for, they, for them to do that to this man, bro, bro, that is a slap in the face, man. They spitting this man's face in front of the whole effing world, man. And every NBA player that's watching this video right now, I'm talking about every last one of y'all. Y'all should be using y'all platform to speak out on this bullshit. Because I don't care. And I'm telling y'all the truth. Every last one of y'all. It's bullshit. Now, I don't respect that, bro. What are we teaching our guys, man? What are we? Shut up about he ain't win no championship. He didn't go stack the deck. You're blocked. Get the hell off my channel. Get off my channel, bro. He was the anti- LeBron James, you, I ain't even going to say it to you. That man never complained about them teammates, bro. He never complained. What, na name me one time AI complained about his teammates. These, these, these dudes in the comment section, oh, AI didn't win no championship. Did you see the teammates he had? Do you think he was going to beat the greatest team to ever win a championship in a playoff run? That He ran into Kobe and Shaq. The year they lost to nobody. Kobe and Shaq swept everybody except for AI. If it wasn't for Kobe and Shaq, AI would have won a championship. He did not stack the deck, bro. He played with the hand he was dealt. He had guys like Eric Snow, Tyrone Hill. Come on, man. Aaron McKee. These are the guys he went to the NBA Finals are old ass to Kim and Matumbo. Who was getting bold in the face and absolutely disrespected by Shaq in the post. That dude gave everything he had. You guys, y'all praise this new chump. I don't even, can't even say it on YouTube. Error. Where dudes will cheat the game. If they can't succeed, they'll ask to be traded. They'll throw their teammates under the bus. Cry about their coaches to get fired. AI, AI, guess what? He didn't like Larry Brown. You know what he did? He ended up respecting Larry Brown and listening to Larry Brown. He didn't get Larry Brown fired and run him out the organization. He wasn't out here complaining about coaches, complaining about teammates. See what I'm saying? Yeah, AI could have cheated the system, asked and demand for a trade, tried to go form a super team and won three or four championships, and then he'd been out here looking like KD. And, in, and at the end of the day, Cats really wouldn't have respected that. That's disgusting what they did to that man, bro. Bro, you don't have no, no disrespect to no person like that, bro. None of the greats. And you get that man a, 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 a goddamn Happy Meal trophy? As a, as, a, as, a, as a statue? That's a trophy. That's a trophy. What y'all see on the screen, that's the actual size. The jump was like, what, what maybe like three feet? <sighs> Bro, that's, I, 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 like I said, man, you know, they, they just make it seem like, ah, he's just another guy in the organization. Are, 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 they, are you crazy? When you think about the 76ers, you think about a couple guys, Dr. J, Allen Iverson, those are the guys you're thinking about. And we talking about a dude who gave it all and did, and never, ever, 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 ever. And this is the one thing AI never got credit about. He never cheated the game. He never cried about his teammates. Ever. Whatever he felt like he lacked in his teammates, bro, he went out there and tried to get it done himself, bro. That break my heart right there. They did that to that man, bro. 
You talking about a dude that put in real work. Go look at the minutes this dude was clocking, y'all. He wasn't cheating the game. This dude was playing games. This dude was hurt. This dude was beat up. This dude was playing games, bro. Man. And I know even though AI put on a show a front, I know he was like hurt about that, bro. In his heart. You seen all the people that's that's online that's upset, that was upset about that with Phil, with the 76ers. I'm disgusted with the 76ers. I agree with everybody who said anything scathing about that organization, bro. Them owners is billionaires, and that's the best y'all could do for that man, bro. This is a man who will go down in legendary history of national. This is one of the top 75 players to ever play the game of basketball. One of the top 75 players to ever play basketball. Ever. And this is what y'all do to him? Y'all dishonor and disrespect a man like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. We're we not fitting to, we not fitting to run that. We're not fitting to run that, bro. We're not fitting to run that, bro. You know what I mean? That, that's that's disgusting, bro. Nobody's statue should be like that, bro. It's on AI's level, bro. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? When when Russell Westbrook retired and OKC gave him a statue, Russell Westbrook statue is going to be bigger than life size. I'm talking about Russell Westbrook. You're going to do AI like that? Who never asked for a trade? Who who dragged y'all to the NBA Finals? Never cried about his teammates. Never said, hey, man, y'all got to uh, fire the coach, tra change the teammates. He never did none of that. He had his go back and forth with Larry Brown. He ended up respecting Larry Brown, honoring and listening to Larry Brown, and doing what the coach wanted him to do. He didn't get the coach fired and run him out of the organization. He never cheated the game. He never said, you know what, man, I can't play tonight, man. I'm a load manager, man. My arm hurt. My leg, my knee hurt. I'm, I'm a load manager. Man, this man was out there playing with all kind of patches and bandages on and stuff like that, bro. You talking about six feet. A buck fifty soaking wet, bro. A buck fifty soaking wet. You know? I'm sad, man. I'm sad, bro. I'm sad, bro. You know, all the legends should be respected in a certain way. You know, and to the dude who said he ain't Dr. J, who did Dr. J have on his team? Did Dr. J play with the type of teammates that the AI played with in Philly for that main stretch run? No. So be quiet, Alfred Griffin. You don't know nothing about basketball, dog. You don't know nothing about basketball, man. So just keep going around here looking like rerun. You don't know nothing about basketball, brother. You're like a low budget rerun, bro. So I'm sorry, man. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta step your game up, brother. Step your game up, brother. Sitting over here, cause, cause, cause if you name Dr. J's teammates, Dr. J had teammates coming from the ABA to the NBA, brother. Brother. So don't even play that game with me. You guys don't know basketball. You don't know basketball, sir. Period. Go sit up here and talk about some. Oh, oh he, he ain't do what Dr. J did. He didn't have a team Dr. J had. Dr. J had four, four, four. Moses Malone, baby. Petersburg, Virginia, baby. Petersburg High School. League MVP. What's wrong with you guys? Right? And I'm just telling y'all what it is. Telling y'all what it is. They ought to be disrespect. They ought, to, man. They ought to be ashamed of themselves, bro. <laughs> but it's sad, bro. Hey, AI, man, we standing with you, bro. Real talk, man. We standing with you, bro. Um, and that's that's we we not we not accept that, bro. We not accept that, bro. You put in too much work, too much blood, sweat, tears, for somebody to disrespect you like that, bro. Right? Never cried. Never complained about the game. For them to disrespect you like that. You you kept Philly on the map. AI made Philly. AI, AI is a, you guys got to understand, it's bigger than just basketball. He is a cultural icon. 
AI is a cultural icon, bro. All these new dudes y'all seen in the game, Steph, LeBron, all them dudes, them dudes is all influenced by Bubba Chuck. The answer, Allen Iverson. 757, bad news, VA. Bro, man. Y'all can these new cats could never understand. They come talk that Brian Winhor talk. Oh, he wasn't efficient, man. Brian Winhor, sit down, bro. Sit down, brother. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Y'all want to pull out these fake stats. Now, we talking about heart, nuts, and guts. We talking about never cheating the system, never cheating the grind, going out there every single night, knowing that fans out here paying to see that you come out there at your best and you just giving it everything you got laying on the line. Come on, bro. And Rocky got a bigger statue. That's right. And he was in a damn movie. And he got a bigger statue. The city of Philadelphia, the AI, should nobody outside of Dr. J have a bigger statue than AI in Philly. Nobody. That I, I, like I said, man. Like I said, nobody in basketball, bro. And then especially not no actor. And so I'm, I'm just telling you guys, man, like, for me, man, again, bro, y'all take it how y'all want to take it, man. I am I am all the NBA basketball players, current and former, should be outraged at the way they treat these guys, bro. And dudes literally put everything on the line, man. They ain't had the same sports and science technology. Them dudes was really jacked up when they went out there on the court. They was hurt. Like, when you look at AI, he was really hurt going out there on night-to-night -night basis. You could tell. Them dudes still play. Everybody now, they like, oh, man, don't play, man. Protect yourself, man. Don't play, man. Man, them dudes out here cheating the game. These dudes really love basketball. They really love the game. They really love to compete. It was just a – it was different. It was like the old WWE when it was a WWF where it was entertaining. Guys really liked to go to the events. It didn't get watered down for a while. So you see guys like The Rock and all these guys, The Undertaker and all these guys had to come back to bring it back. That's why I exist. These cats ask me, why do guys like you, Two Raw, and the rest of these dudes, this is why we exist. Because it is like this. Because we, re we refuse to let these dudes' names go down in vain. We refuse. I got a platform. I got a voice. I got a voice. And to see that, bro, that you disrespect dudes who never cheated the game, never cried about his team. Bro, this dude had a starting lineup. His starting lineup shot like 29%, 28% from the three-point line. His second leading score was averaging like 13 points. And he was carrying teams for damn near a decade until he got an old C web who got a knee injury. And this is what y'all do? Man. Hey, bro, that's sad, bro. Bro, man. You look at that shit, man. I'm like, man, come on, man. This is it. I, hey, man. I don't know what else you got to do, bro. Real talk. But now, this we live in an era now, y'all, where they praise you can cheat the game, cheat the system. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You can cheat. And I do agree that if Pat Croce was still there, it'd be different. But Pat Croce was one of the ones who moved AI out of there. So, at the end of the day, he did wrong. He should have stood 10 toes with AI. He should have never moved AI, bro. There's some guys you just don't do that to, bro. AI was one of them dudes, man. He was loyal to the soil, man. You know what I mean? He had dudes turn his back on. Stephen A. Snitch turned his back on AI. Was hanging out. How you hanging out with the dude? Then you turn around and snitch him out to an article. A AI did everything. He opened up his whole. A a we all know AI party gambled and stuff like that. The, the world didn't need to know that. He put dudes like Stephen A. Smith on the map. He brought you with him, Stephen A. Snitch. It was like, yo, come on, man. I got you. Come on, rock with us, bro. You cool. You one of the brothers. What you do? You turn around. And you the Judas. You the Judas, brother. You turn around write articles on the man, throwing the man under the bus when a man bought you. Instead of you telling him and going to him saying, yo, AI, come on, bro. You can't do like this, bro. I'm just going to keep it real with you, man. Like, they talking about you. And it, nope. You did what was best for your boss, Stephen A. Smith. 
This type of stuff you you did. When that man poked his chest out and showed love. And I'm cooking on all facts. When when them dudes are trying to dog out Kwame Brown, everybody talking down about Kwame Brown, who who was holding Kwame Brown down? AI. He was like, hey man, don't y'all talk about that man like that, bro. That man a pro, bro. I respect Kwame, man. That man a pro. AI stood ten toes on that. And his word hold merit. His word hold merit. Now I respect him for that. His word hold merit. And so again, you know, we don't respect our true great great ones, bro. They don't respect Kobe like they should have respected Kobe. Got his statue wrong. How the hell you do a statue for Kobe Bryant and you got errors in it? I want y'all to think about this. They don't they always do this to us, bro. How you got a Kobe Bryant statue and his errors in the statue? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. They don't want to talk about this though. That should have been, they should have took the whole statue. That whole statue should have been nope, we're gonna have to do a whole one over again. I ain't making no corrections. Think about this, bro. Think about that, y'all. Yeah, how they treat you. Regardless of whatever I think about LeBron James. When LeBron James left Cleveland, bro, look how them people in Cleveland treated LeBron James. LeBron James came to that team, bro. He uplifted that city financially, business-wise. All these people was getting big money because the arenas was packed to see this young man. Right? 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 And what did those people do when he left? After he fulfilled his contract, yeah, he might not have left in the right way. But what did they do? You know what they did, y'all? They burned his jerseys in the streets. They talked about him like a dog, called him everything but a child of God. That's sad, brother. That's sad. That's sad, brother. That's sad. You know? Um, and I feel a way about that, man. I feel a way about that, bro. I feel a way about that, brother. You know? And uh, you just don't treat people like that, man. People that really, really, like, make a difference, you don't treat them like that, bro. You you show these people their, their love. You know what I mean? Real talk, bro. Real talk, man. Not not the ones who really went through the the grind like that. You don't do that, bro. The ones who never cheated you, that really went through the grind, that really loved it. Like, it ain't a lot of people that really love this thing, bro. That's really, like, loyal to this thing, bro. And it's how you treat people, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem I have, bro. How they disrespected this man, mistreated this man, and gave this man that a slop. Slop. And it's just, like I said before, um, Philly need to step they self up, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, the whole, and all this stuff, like I said, with the Kobe Bryant trophy cer ceremony, it's how you treating people, bro. You know what I'm saying? That uh, are the big figures in, you know, uh, the sports and, w and what these teams are doing and these teams' success. The guys who really laid it on the line, bro. Kobe Bryant should have had a statue the day he retired. Why, he, why they had to wait till the man passed away to get a statue? Make it make sense. Why did AI have to wait all these years to get a statue. Bro, that man, the statue should have been done the day he retired. When we talking about guys like that, that statue should have been done the day he retired. That statue should have been done. A week later, that statue should have been up. Kobe Brown, all these dudes. This is the type of stuff we got going on, though. I'm just telling y'all what the real is, man. Get that man a midget like that and just tell him to move on with his day, man. Man, bro, I don't respect it, man. This is why, this why, this, this, this is the reason why cats ain't respecting the game no more. This is why right here, y'all see it. Y'all see it. 
But I, like I said, I grew up in a different era. Like, y'all look at this. This last, last thing I'm going to say to y'all before I go on my podcast show. Because I'm going to go live on my podcast now. But last thing I'm going to say to y'all. I want y'all to think about this, right? Everybody say, hey, Ticket, man, why you sitting over here giving Shay Alexander all this praise, Ticket? Why you praising Shay, Ticket? You know why I'm praising Shay? Shay got a bunch of young boys over there. He don't got no veteran season superstar. Like Kyrie Irving got. He don't got a sidekick like Jamal Murray and the other role players that Jokic got. He don't got the team that Jason Tatum got with all them dogs they got on the team. He don't got them superstars like Giannis said Teddy Kupo got. None of them. Right? He got dudes that was in the G League. He got role players. And he got a rookie. That was hurt last year, ain't even play. It averaged around 15, 14 points a game. And check. And this man is number one in the Western Conference right now as we stand today. And he would have been, they would have won 60 games. I want y'all to think about this now. This is the part that they don't tell y'all in the news. Shea would have won 60 games. Hey, he would have not got hurt this year. When Shea got hurt, they lost all those games. When Shea got hurt, they lost all those games, and they got the tiebreaker. They got the tiebreaker. Now, this one is updated. Minnesota's actually number two now, and Denver's number three. If Shea wins the last game of the season, he gets the number one seed. Period. Don't matter what nobody else do. Denver choked against the Spurs last night. Shea missed... If he didn't miss those games, because the, the they had slippage when he missed those games, because he got hurt. If he didn't miss those few games, OKC wins 60 games this year. Plus, with Shaq, he should have been the league MVP carrying the team. But this is what they do to y'all. They say, oh, let's look at the efficiency, stats, all this other stuff. Nah, I'm looking at guts. I'm looking at what, your, what you're doing, what you're putting out here. And your impact. This man would have won 60 games with dudes like Lou Dort. Right? No superstar names. He ain't got no Kyrie Irvins on the roster. They didn't change over the whole roster trade deadline like the Mavs did and you get all these other guys. He don't got teams like the Boston Celtics where you stacked up to the... He would have won 60 games. Go look it up. If, if Shea didn't get hurt, he would have won 60 60 games. They lost them games when Shea got hurt. As soon as he came back, they went again. How you going, how you, and, and that shows you that he's the MVP. Right? But we talking about, oh man, well, Kawhi, he could be, no, he couldn't. They still in the fourth seed. They got all, they got a stacked deck. A stacked deck. Ant-Man, nope, Ant-Man got all the help on his team. This is how we treat our key guys. We talking about Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. I want to show y'all this again. Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant left OKC. Look what Shea has done to OKC, bro. Look at this. As the undoubted leader of the troops, he averaged 30, don't nobody else average 20 on the team. He literally carried that team, and, and he got hurt the other week. He was out for about four, four, five, six games. They lost those games. If he's there, they win, They have over 60 wins, bro. They have over 60. I want y'all to think about it. They have over 60 wins, and they're probably challenging Boston for the number one record in the league. They won't tell y'all this truth, though. They will not tell y'all this truth. And I feel bad because we don't give him the, enough credit, enough respect for putting a team on his back and really being and he's really being great and really pushing things to the limit and uplifting his squad, bro. He forget all the uh, high end stats and numbers. He should be the MVP for what he did with the less help that he had. He should be up there in the top five. Jalen Brunson should be up there in the top five. These are dudes that's really carrying teams. 
They got role players that other players didn't want. The Lakers didn't want Josh Hart. Josh Hart don't bounce around the league. Dante Divincenco bounced around the league. These guys are key players with Brunson in New York. Right? Look at Shea. Shea literally got G League dudes and role players around him. Outside of Chet. And Chet averaged like, what, 14, 15 points a game? Rookie year? No all-star, no superstar, none of that stuff. We don't give him the prayer. But we praise other dudes who got all this help around them and, and stacking up the help. And we praise these guys. And people say, oh, well, Luka is the MVP. No, he ain't. Luka's in the fifth seed. And that man got the heartbreak kid, Kyrie Irving, on his team. Make it make sense. He's the fifth seed, and he have a legendary player, Hall of Fame lock player, superstar Kyrie Irving on his team. Shea ain't got nothing near that. He almost won 60 games. If he wouldn't have got hurt, he's number one seed. Nope. Luka can't be the MVP. How can you be an MVP over that when this guy did more with less? Mm -mm. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. See what I'm saying? Then they went and got P.J. Washington. Then they went and got the big boy, the center uh, from Washington, who's jumping out the gym, blocking everything, getting all the rebounds in Gafford. Then they went and got, man, come on, bro, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. So this is why I said we don't give enough credit to the guys that's actually doing it. And we saw the growth of Shea. Shea did not, and I'm going to say it again, Shea did not. Uh, Lou Dort literally was a G League player. Sorry, Mr. Mans, you're wrong. Lou Dort literally was a G League player. L Lou Dort literally was a G League player. Sorry, brother, you're not right. You're not right. Uh, sir says Jalen Williams is a stud ticket. Yeah, he can play. He ain't no 20 point per game. All-star, superstar, star type player. He's a very good role player right now. These are the facts. These are the facts. Right? These are the facts. So to the brother who said that, Ant, wrong. Yeah, Chet is good. He's solid. He's a rookie in the NBA. Averaging, what, 15 points? That's cool. Lou Dort is one of the defenders in the league. Uh, Lou Dort was a G League player that's coming in the league now. What is Lou Dort average? He's like 12 points? Okay, cool. And, uh, I mean, he's doing all right. And Josh Kitty is legit. What do you mean? He averaged like, what, 11 points a game? Yeah, okay. Like I said before. Like I said before, stop playing these games with me, dog. You don't want to do this. I ain't seen parole in a minute. I ain't seen parole in a minute. Now, the league ain't going to tell y'all how Jokic choked this thing down the stretch. Jokic had the number one seed in the West, and he choked it to the Spurs. They're not going to tell y'all that. They not going to tell y'all that. Right? Well, no, no. I'm still saying, Mr. Master, that guy came from the G League, bro. Uh, what I'm saying is actual facts. So, sorry. It's actual facts, what I said. So, we're not going to do that. The man played in the G League. We're not going to act like Lou Dort is some all-world NBA teammate. No, he not. He's a solid defender. He came from the G League. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out. We're not finna do this. Cut it out. Cut it out, bro. So we're not finna do that. That's what we not gonna do. And Lou Dort is actually averaging season lows this year. He, a career lows. He's actually averaging career lows this year. He only he averaged 11 points this year. 3.6 rebounds, 1.4 assists. Don't play this. Let's not play that. Let's not do that. We're not going to do that because uh, y'all will get cooked too quick on this channel. Too quick you'll get cooked. Too quick. Right? So, again, nobody is near Kyrie's level. Tim Hardaway Jr. and those guys, like I said, all these dudes that they got over there on Dallas is way better. All them dudes they got on the Clippers is way better than his role players. All them dudes they got on Denver, way better than his role players. All them dudes they got on Minnesota, way better than his role players. All those dudes they got on Dallas, way better than his role players. Stop doing this with me. All them dudes that they got on the Pelicans, way better than the role players. Can't do it with me. Can't do it with me. Cannot do it with me. Can't do it with me. 
All them dudes on the Boston Celtics, way better than his role players. Straight up. Way better than those role players. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You know, I'm known for keeping it real. I'm known for keeping it real. Right? So, I'm out of here, y'all. I'm going to the podcast show, man. Y'all catch me on the podcast, man. Um, Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV. We're going to the podcast show right now. I'm going to the podcast show. And we're going to be cooking on a lot on the podcast show. We're going to be cooking on a couple of things. Yeah, Mr. Mass, I'm saying Shay is the MVP. I got to go, Mr. Mass, because I'm supposed to be on the podcast show already. I can't. I stay too long in here. You can hop on the podcast show with me, Mass. I'll send you a link. So everybody that's going to come to the podcast show, y'all come on the podcast show. Uh, I'll be live. All you got to do is go to patreon.com backslash ticket TV. The link is pinned at the top of the comment section. And I'm going to be cooking on everything. Uh, we're gonna. Be, I got a few things that we're gonna be talking about on the podcast show tonight. So make sure y'all hop in there and join us. It's gonna get crazy. Appreciate all y'all, man. They did AI dirty. They disrespected that man, and they need to make that correction, bro. And salute to everybody again. We got two thousand nine hundred. It's more than that now. It's probably like like sixty subscribers. So we like forty subscribers from three thousand. So everybody watching this video, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to the podcast show. Patreon.com backslash Ticket TV. Y'all know what it is. I'm out. Holla.